So guys, are you a Shopify store owner and you have a product page which is too lengthy? I mean, you have size chart to display, you have a lot of specification and features to display for your product page. But when you add that, your product page looks very lengthy and it leaves out a white space on the product page, just like this. So I have this Dawn theme latest version activated, but when I add a lot of description on my product page, it looks pretty ugly because it gives, it leaves out a white space on the left hand side. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can display your product page description in a tapped format. So your product page will look like this. So as you can see, it looks pretty clean. It's the same description as this page but you can see it looks pretty clean and it's showing up in a tab format. And you don't have to manually code that. You can simply add a section in your uh, Dawn theme and it will display up on your customized settings. All you have to do is just go to product page template, click on add section and you'll have this tab showing up and fill up all the details from your customized settings. Okay, now let me show you the functionalities of this tab. Okay, so as you can see, I have added this, these tabs on my leather jacket product. Before adding these tabs, it was like this. A lengthy product page with a lot of white space. But after adding tabs, you can see it looks pretty neat and clean and it's all done via customize. So just click on add section here, search for tabs and you will have a tab section showing up and you will have these blocks within the tabs through which you can add the heading, the content, and you can add in emojis as well in that. So if you wanna learn, stick to the video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up icon so I can create more helping content for you guys. So without further ado, let's start implementing that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'll go to the back end of my Shopify store. So that's a development store here. Once you're logged in, you will see a screen like this. Click on online store. And I have theme limit reach. So what I'm gonna do, I'll delete an older version of theme and install the latest version of Dawn theme in order to show you guys how you can implement that very easily from the scratch. And it's, it's not just gonna work for Dawn theme. You can use any of the paid theme or free theme because I have created this section for you guys through uh, some vanilla JavaScript and HTML and there's a liquid code in it, liquid code in it. So it's theme independent. You can use that code in any of your theme. Okay, now let's add in the latest version of Dawn theme. Click on add button here. Okay, my latest version of Dawn theme is installed now. Now let's publish this one. Now let's preview the product page of how the default product page looks like. Click on these three small dots and click preview. Okay, click on all products and then I'm gonna go to the same product which I had. Okay, there's the one leather jacket. Now you can see it's a very lengthy product page and our goal is to make it look like this one where we have description showing up in a tabs format, right? Okay, now let's close uh, these older tabs. And now let's add in our tabs section in the latest version of theme, which we just published. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my development store, click on these three small dots, and then click on edit code. Before editing the code, make sure to have a backup of your theme. So in case you mess up anything, or you add any wrong code or create a wrong section, you can you will have a backup of your theme then and then you can easily revert it back. Okay, click on edit code. Here we have uh, the code editor showing up. Scroll down and from sections, click on this arrow and then click on add a new section. And here I'm gonna name my section custom tabs okay 
And now all you have to do is just copy and paste the code, which you will find in the YouTube video description. So you don't need to worry about uh, any of the code. It's free, freely available in the blog post, which you will find in the description of this YouTube video. Okay, now remove the code, which is pre-created when we created the new section. So I'm just going to remove that. And I have this code in my code editor. Now I'm going to paste the code and hit save. And that's it. All you had to do is just paste this code and now you have your section ready, right? Now let's test it out. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'll go to customize. So here's my customize. Click on that. Now let's go to product page template. And from here, let's go to the same product. So I'm going to search for leather. Here I have leather jacket showing up. And here's my product. Now, if I click on add section and search for tabs, here I have my tabs are showing up completely fine. Okay, let's add it. Okay, now let me fill in the details real quick and move this tabbed section above related products. And for now, just hide the related products. Okay, guys, I have filled up some static values in my tabs, like tab one title, tab one description, and I have created three tabs. Now I have already saved this template. Now when I go to leather jacket product, tabs are showing here and we can simply copy and paste our description from here and add in to these tabs. Now the problem with these tabs in case of the static value, it will show up same on all of the product page. Now there are two possible solutions for that. One is to create a new product page template. So you can go to your customize and then create a new template. Click on products. And here you have the option to create new template and you can assign that template to your backend. So if I go to backend of this product, click on products and let's search for this product. There it is. So what I can do here, I can assign the newly temp newly created template for this product. So the tabs will show up only on this product, right? So we have option here to select the template. You can see it's showing default product template. And when we create a new template, it will show up the option to select the template. So name it a uh, tab description, right? And click on create template. And now we can simply assign this template with tabs to that product where we want to display our tabs. Now, if I refresh this product backend and uh, scroll down to the bottom, you can see I have the option to select different template and I can simply select tab description template and click on save. And now my tabs will show up only on uh, this product where I have selected this template. Alternatively, what we can do is create meta fields. Now I've already shown you guys how you can select the template uh, from the product backend after creating your templates when you add tabs on it, right? Now let's do the second method where we will create new meta field and just need to create one single template and we'll have the values of tab title and description showing up through meta fields. Okay. Now in order to create the meta fields, let's go to settings from your left bottom and uh, click on custom data. 
and then select on products here we have some meta fields showing up uh, from our apps from different apps and that's uh, already created meta object so there's a another video which i created related to meta object you will find uh, that link of that video in my youtube video description if you want to learn what is meta object for now let's create a meta field which we will use to add dynamic value to our tabs now click on add definition and name it tab one title and uh, select type to be single line text and then hit save now let's create another meta field for uh, the description of first tab so let's name it tab one description okay and select type as multi-line text and then hit save okay our meta fields for tab one and tab one description has been created now what we're gonna do we'll simply map it to the, to the tabs which we created now let's go to customize and we have two templates here one is tab description which is just assigned to leather jacket product right now let's go to default product template and here let's remove these additional two tabs for now and we will use this tab as a dynamic tab so it will pull the value of title and description from the meta field okay now let's remove the heading the static heading here click on insert dynamic source and then click on tab one title here it is the meta field showing up and for the description let's insert the dynamic source and select the tab one description which we created for the multi nine text and let's hit save and now let's fill in the value of meta fields for few of the products now for example this product If I scroll down, I have the option to add the value of tab one title and tab one description. Now let's uh, name it blue t-shirt description. T-shirt is made of cotton fabrics, cotton fabric, and some other details <laughs> so let's fill in that now hit save and now if i preview this product and scroll down you can see it's pulling up the tab title and tab description from the meta field which i created so here are the two methods through which you can create uh, different tabs for different products the simplest way to do is we have meta fields which i suggest you guys because it's it's a hassle to create templates again and again if you have like hundreds of products on your shopify store then i suggest you guys you should use meta fields okay guys uh, that's it for the tutorial and uh, you will find all of the code details in the blog post of a uh, youtube description which is which is linked in the youtube video description okay until next video have a great day